Hello and welcome to FED Learning. Today we are going to discuss about Angular material like how to install and how to use it in Angular application. So there are different UI framework that we can work with Angular including Bootstrap, Angular material and much more. So in the last video we have already seen how to install Bootstrap and in this video we will focus on how to install Angular material. Angular Material is a UI library component developed by Google in 2014. Angular Material offers unique components like Date Picker, Toolbar, Snack Bar, Progress Spinner and many more that are specially designed for Angular. If you want to see all the components, you can visit the website material.angular.io. Like here, I'll show you material.angular.io. Here you go inside components. And you can see all the Angular material components. We can implement it in our Angular project. So we will integrate a component into our project once we have completed the installation of Angular material. Okay, so next let's check what we need to install Angular material in Angular 18 project. To install Angular material, we need to use command ng space add space add the rate angular slash material. So this is the only one step we need to follow to, to install Angular material. And once you run this command and press enter, it will ask us a few installation options such as we have to choose the theme and all. We will see while installation. So thanks for watching my videos. Now let's dive into Visual Studio code and we will continue from there. So I am going to install Angular material in our Angular 18 tutorials project. And before start the installation command, let's check the package.json file for the angular material dependency. Here I'll search material. Okay. So as we can see, it's not listed yet. So here I'll write command to install angular material. ng space add space add the rate angular slash material. Enter. Here I will say S to proceed the installation. So the installation will take few seconds depending on your internet speed. Okay. Now here you can see it is asking us to choose a pre-built theme name. So here we can choose any theme or we can build the custom theme as well. So I will choose this one and after that it is asking us to set up global angular material typography styles. And here I will say S. So here we need to include the Angular animation module. I will go with first option. And after that the installation process will download and install the required packages. We will see here packages installed successfully. And it will display the name of the file that has been updated. So here you can see the file package.json, app.config.ts file, angular.json file, index html and styles.css file has been updated. So you can see in the package.json file now search angular you can see here angular slash cdk and angular slash material these two dependencies are newly added. You can identify the newly dependencies with this green vertical line for angular cdk and for angular material. So after installing angular material, let's verify that it's working correctly. So to test it, we need to restart the application using command ng serve. This command will rebuild the application. So I'll open the app component. And here I'll comment this navbar and I'll comment this bootstrap button as well. Here we will add new button for material with name material button. And I'll add the class here, mat flat button. And in order to use this mat flat button, we need to add the dependency inside imports array. So here I'll add mat button module. And here we need to import it from material button, angular material button. Angular slash material slash button okay so here you can see inside node modules there is a at the rate angular folder and inside at the rate angular 
there is a material and inside material there is a button so we are using this mat button module dependency save the changes and go to the browser here you can see the material button is in pink color and we can see one more example for that i'll go to material.angular.io site and here we will see date picker example okay so i'll implement this date picker in our code so for that i'll copy the html code and i'll paste it here okay and for this we need to add the dependency we can find the dependency inside api so here we need to add the mat date picker module inside our ts file so in order to use date picker we need to import it inside the imports array okay so save the changes and go to the browser here we are getting error mat form field is not a known element so we need to import mat form field as well so here go to the ts file and you can see we will copy all this import from here and we will paste it in our code so this dependency is double so i delete it and we need to add all this dependency inside the imports okay and this provide native data adapter we need to add inside providers array so i'll copy the providers array as well i'll paste it here okay save the changes and go to the browser so you can see the date picker here you can click on this calendar calendar will get open and you can choose any date from this calendar okay so this is working as expected so that's it for this video thank you for your time bye bye